Hey, Sean Chandler here, and the first trailer for the movie Passengers just dropped today, and so I wanted to talk about it. If you're not familiar with this movie, basic premise is that Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence are on a spaceship traveling to another planet, therefore they're supposed to be cryogenically frozen for over a hundred years. Unfortunately, they wake up very early, but only the two of them, no one else, and so you're left wondering what's going on, and of course... Things eventually go wrong. That's the basic premise of the movie. So as for the trailer, what did I think about it? Well, when it comes to a trailer, there's three different things that I evaluate. Number one, does it make me more excited to see this movie? Number two, does it give me a good vibe for the tone of it or the story of it without giving me too much? Which is number three, does it give too much away? Do I feel like it's walking me beat by beat or giving away the third act or a plot twist? So based off of those, number one, did it make me more excited to see the movie? Absolutely it did. To be honest, Chris Pratt right now is one of my favorite actors. I'm excited to see him in anything. I uh, really loved him in Parks and Rec, and we watched that whole series. And so then when he was cast as Star-Lord in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I was both surprised, like, wait, why would they cast him? And then saw the movie, and I loved the movie and was so excited for him because of that. And that's actually my favorite of the Marvel movies, I think. Um, and so that's really exciting. And then another well, kind of secret is that my wife's maiden name is Jennifer Lawrence. And so this movie is a movie starring Chris Pratt, one of my favorite actors right now, and one of my wife's favorite actors with my wife in it. So that's pretty exciting the way that worked out. Um, I guess I'm not really, that's not really my wife. They just have the same maiden name. Um, but so that's really exciting. And I, I enjoy her as an actress too. And so then in the trailer, you get to see really one in particular scene of them interacting. And I loved kind of the rapport between them and the relationship. You get a vibe for what that's going to be like, which is what I wanted, as well as it gives you more about kind of the spectacle and the size of it because it's kind of a bottle film kind of contained in one location. It gives us just to know, okay, where's this going to go? What's the tone, the vibe of it? And you get very much, it's kind of like The Martian in certain regards. It's kind of like Apollo 13 in certain regards. And so uh, that's good company in, in my mind. Number two, do you get a good feel for the tone, vibe, and the story of it? And I would say, yes, you do. Right off the bat, you get kind of this scene that introduces the relationship between the two of them. And then the rest of the trailer gives you a vibe of just kind of the scale, the spectacle, the calamity, the drama. What's going on that generates the action, the tension in all of this besides we're stranded in space. So you get a vibe for that. I will say the trailer does it in a bit of a jarring way, which works at first, but eventually it feels a bit odd because the first... 30, 40 seconds are one way, and the rest of it is like this, and it's lighthearted and jokey, and then the rest of it is really tense, and it's supposed to kind of have that jarring shift, but I, I get the vibe that the movie itself is going to have a little bit more of the romance and the relationship spread throughout, otherwise that would be a very unevenly toned film. So, yes, it does, but on the same time, it felt uneven, or it feels like it sets the movie up to be very unevenly tone, in tone wise. Number three, does it give too much away? That's where I'd say, I think it does. You don't know until you see the movie. And so, until we see the movie, we don't know. And maybe it gives you everything all the way up into the very last frame of the movie. We don't know. But what you do see in the movie is it, it doesn't necessarily, you don't feel like you're seeing scene, 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 scene. It's cut out of order and get the different pieces. But at the same time, based off of the premise of it, it shows you what seems like the inciting incident of people waking up and trying to figure out what's going on. And it feels like it gives you, all right, when the chaos starts, you get to see what that probably looks like. And then it gives you what looks like the third act plot twist. Or it doesn't tell you what the plot twist is, but it tells you what you're looking for. And it appears to be a plot twist the way at least it's framed in the trailer is something that will reframe the way you see the rest of the movie. It, you know, you'll see it and you go, oh, that's what's really been going on. But if you, if you know that in advance, where that's coming from, who does it, it makes you watch the first part differently. And so that feels to me like they're giving me too much. They're giving me too many of the beats. It doesn't give you like, it's not a walk through the plot, but it's giving you too many of the beats along the way, which I get frustrated by. All that to say, I'm now very excited to see this movie. It's moved up to probably into my top five most anticipated movies of the fall. 
of course, that's not really saying much because I'm there's a, I'm just not very excited about a lot of the movies coming out this fall. So moving into the top five doesn't mean a whole lot in this particular season. But at the same time, I'm excited to see. I'm really excited to see it. So with all that said, how about you? Are you excited to be see Passengers? What did you think about this trailer? Did it give too much away? Did you see too much and you felt like, ooh, I wish I hadn't watched that. Like for me right now, I wish I'd watched the first two thirds of it and just stopped watching right now. That's where I feel about it. How about you? I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. Comment in the comment section. Let's start a discussion about it. If this is your first time watching one of my videos and you liked it, please consider clicking that like button so you can see the rest of my videos when they come out. Thank you for watching.